Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We got a great one for you today. We're going to show you how to create a pop-up for any page that'll load after about three seconds. So if I refresh this page, wait three seconds, one, two, three. I've got a little pop-up contact form here. You can X out, of course you can fill it out, send it off. X out up there or X out anywhere on the outside there. And that's a great little feature. In fact, that's a feature that introduced me to the plugin we're using today, which is Divi Supreme Modules. It is a pro plugin, so you'll have to pay for it, but it's got 50 extra modules and extensions that allows you to pop up just about anything from anything, amongst other things. If you want to learn more, take a look at our Divi Supreme playlist down below this video. So let's get started and I'll show you how to build this. It's really easy. Okay, I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down. I'm going to create some content to pop up. And you can pop up anything. You can pop up a section. You can pop up a row. You can pop up a single module. Let's try a call to action module. I'm just going to add a new module. I'm going to use a call to action module, funnily enough. It's popped it in down below there. I'm going to leave it just like that. Obviously, you can style yours, do whatever you want with yours. Let's just add the button by adding a link. I'm just going to put a little hashtag in there and the button will turn up. Great. Okay, what I'm going to do now is going to save it to my library. The little round icon just to the left of the trash can there, save module to library. Left click. We'll give it a name. I'm going to call mine pop-up. CTA module. And I'm going to go hit the save to library button. Okay, once I've saved that to my library, I can actually delete it. And as I mentioned earlier, you will need Divi Supreme Modules Pro installed and activated to use this. And you can find the link down below this video. Once you've got it installed, let's open the dashboard. You'll find it here in your menu. If you click on it, it'll take you to this page, which is general settings here. Now it's got several extensions here and they're all absolutely awesome. And I've covered most of them before. You want to make sure that you've got enable Divi pop-up switched on. If you don't do this, this will not work today so that it's on the right there. Once you've done that, save your changes and I'll show you how to make this work. If we go back to our page now, there's that little gradient text we did yesterday with a little Divi Supreme module. Now we can use any element on this page to trigger this pop-up. And as I'm having it pop up on page load, it really doesn't matter which, which element or module we use. So go into any module, go over to advanced, down to visibility, and you'll find a little switch there that says use pop-up. Now, if you fail to do this, switch this on, enable Divi pop-up in the Divi Supreme settings, you will not see that. So if you don't see that, make sure you've done this step right here. So I'm going to flip that little use pop-up switch to on. There are several things you can actually pop up. Any of the layouts from your library, like I say, it can be a section, a row, or a module that we're going to use that today. But you can also pop up an iframe or an image or a video, which is great. So we now need to go down below and choose that module we created. And it's usually the newest is usually down at the bottom. Pop up CTA module. There it is right there. I'm going to select the one that we want to pop up. If your new module you created isn't in your library, you may just need to refresh your page to refresh your library settings there. Now, we want ours to trigger on page load, and you can trigger it on all kinds of different things. You can click, trigger it on a click. You can make anything pop up from any module with this. It's, like I said earlier, one of the things that I bought this plugin for initially. But I want to do mine on page load. So when they load the page, it's going to pop up after a certain amount of time. These are great for cookie consent forms also, and we've done videos on that in the past. Now, 
I'm going to use a timed delay on mine right here. Default set to one second. I'm going to make it about three seconds. Of course, time is entirely up to you. And we should be good to go. Now you've got all kind of different entrance animations and exit animations. I'm going to leave mine on the generic, but there's plenty of animations to choose from there. And some of them are quite crazy. And you've got the same thing for the animation out. Now, I want my pop-up in the center, which is great. I want it to be absolutely positioned so that if they try and scroll up and down the site, it'll stay right in the middle of the screen there. Now, you can change the width if you're using a large module or a section or a row. You can make it bigger and smaller. But I find that my 680 works perfectly for most applications. But if you need to, you can make different sizes on different devices using the little icon there that looks like a mobile phone. If you click on it, you can have different widths for tablet and mobile. Like I say, the default usually works for me. You can choose to show an overlay. That'll do it like a light box when it pops up. It'll slightly darken out the background there. And you can choose a color if you want to. I'm going to leave mine on the generic. We're going to show a close button. You can put it inside or outside. You can choose the icon size and color here and whatever icon you want to use. By default, I think they put an X in, which is pretty standard for closing things. So I'm going to leave mine just like that, but you can choose any, any icon you want. And you can choose a background color for it. So really, I'm good to go on this. So let's save our changes and see what we've got going on here. Hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. And the page reloads. One, two, three. There's our little call to action module. As you can see, it's got a little X for Xing out there. And if you've got a black background or dark background, you can change the color of that. Of course, they can go in there, click the button, read the text. And like I say, you can do this with all kinds of different layouts. For instance, let's just put a different layout in there just to show you. Let's re enable the visual builder. Go back into that module again that we use, which is this first one right here. Let's switch it out. Let's go to advanced visibility. As you can see, the switch is already on from our last one. Let's pop up a different module. I've got plenty to choose from here. Here's a contact form. Let's just use that one. We'll say that again. And we still got the same settings, so it should pop up after three seconds. Exit the Visual Builder, 1000, 2000, 3000, there's that little contact form. And of course, they can click on it, fill it out, do what they want. Of course, you can do this on any other page as well, if we go to a different page. That is actually a different page, it looks pretty similar to the one we were on. This is my demo page from yesterday. Just enable the Visual Builder. And again, because we're doing a time pop-up, we can use any module or anything that you want to trigger this. So let's just go into this one right here. Over to advanced again. Visibility was where that switch was. Use the pop-up, switch that to on. And remember, if it's not there, probably because you haven't enabled this. And we'll pop up a layout again. Let's choose a different layout this time, perhaps. To the little gallery. Can't remember what those really are. Trigger on page load once more. And we're going to have a time delay. I think I'll put this one to three seconds also. Not going to go through the other settings. That'll work for me. I'm going to save that. Save the page changes. We'll exit Visual Builder. Yeah, one, two, three. And there's that little gallery pop up. Like I say, fantastic little feature, it really is. And click anywhere outside, it's going to disappear. So there you go, guys. There is how to pop up any module on any page with a fantastic Divi Supreme Pro. One, two, three. There's that little contact form. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22. 
and webdesignandtechdigital.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.